Yeah, so uh, we're here at the Geniatech and uh, you're talking about uh, a new box. This is a special box. Yeah. Um, it's, what is this? This is actually what we call a dragon board inside. Yeah. Uh, actually, this is a special made board for the industrial uh, area because we do have uh, before we have lots of customer asking for what they are, they are doing the advertising device hospitality industry or some education and the hotel system most likely they will need special ports like this one in the that's RS232 programming some might actually want to connect a LCD monitor or even touch screen before when we when, when, before what we do is we change our design from our old media player Later, so we decide we, we build a new board that has all those connectors inside. So whenever, whatever the customer needs, we just give them what they want. So like uh, this board has uh, MIDI PCIe, uh, MIP, LVDS. Yeah. MIP uh, is for the camera. Uh, LVDS is for LCD panel. Okay. And then it got like six GPIO. And uh, GPIO, what is that? There's a general input. Uh, Input the input output port. So the GPIO you make what? USB? What do you make? Yeah, it has USB. It can have Wi-Fi. We can do 3 three G or four G, and then we can do Bluetooth, and then it has it can have SATA for the hard disk. It can it basically can have almost all different ports for different users. And this one you you make this the new one yeah. you make it on the S eight zero which one two S eight zero two. So that's uh, a quad core. Quad core A9, no? Yeah. So uh, S802, industrial. Who's your customer now? Who's gonna be like? Uh, what kind of what kind of industrial use is this? Actually, it can be done in the advertising, in industrial, some hospitality industry for the use of uh, single purpose. Because before they most likely they will use PC to do this, but PC the cost is too high. And yeah. right now, the, since the quad core comes out and it's a CPU and the HDB is good enough, so we can just use Android box to uh, how have much? the computer. How much this one? This one, roughly $70. $70 a pair? Okay. So we talk about the half price, or oh, three times cheaper than the uh, PC. PC. Uh, cheaper. It's, it's like, uh, this is something that all the, do you call this, uh, like, uh, what's called, uh, Industrial, it could Industrial be you know, PC or something. Yeah. Yeah, like advertising, advertising, be... education. It can be in the hospitality device or even the hotel system. So th there could yeah. be one of these boxes in every room. Yeah. And uh, this is different than uh, your other boxes. Because uh, why can't you have this in every ho hotel room? You can have a ho for hotel. You can you do this, but uh, you need special made software to connect to a server. Yeah, and then for this one, sometimes they, they would like to have this SATA, uh, this uh, serial port to do the programming outside. Programming. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and there's an HDMI in and out. Yeah. Throughput, okay. so you can do Android on top of TV. Yeah. And uh, let's check your latest DVB-T tuners. Okay. So you have. Uh, so we have the, the old one. Very, very cool. Yeah. And then now we, before we only have the DVB-T. Yeah. And the uh, ISDVT. Yeah. Now we have the new one that is for ATSC. Yeah. And then the one I have here is actually is uh, DVB-T2. And this is actually the channels from Taiwan. Right. So in Taiwan there's DVB-T2. Yeah. They have DVB-T. They have DVB-T and T2 signals. It's the channel list. Channels list. We have. We can in here the signals not that good, but we still can search around 20. We're inside Different the channels. exhibition hall. It's not supposed to watch TV here. Yeah, sure. So many people watch TV outside, right? Yeah. Or, uh, Actually, on the street? I just test on the street. It works really good. The street, this is where you watch this. Yeah. And uh, you go on the beach. Uh, here at the beach, you would go sit down and you watch TV. And you watch the football match for the World Cup. <laughs> uh, and uh, if you disconnect and uh, reconnect, it's yeah. just going to launch it directly. Pops up in there. Uh, on which there. one is yes in Chinese? Ah, uh, actually, it's this one. This one. <laughs> okay. And then the. It just goes directly into the yeah. TV. Yeah. And you're watching TV. Yeah. So this is a DVB T2. Yeah. Uh, PT360. Yeah. Then you have uh, ATSC. 681. 
uh, PT681, this is for the USA. Yes. Only the USA or some other place? Well, any place that has ATSC. Okay, see, Mexico has it, Canada has it. So you can go to Mexico with this yeah. and watch TV in Mexico. It's very, very, very important to watch <laughs> uh, football in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, Canada, so so. You can yeah. watch uh, hockey. Hockey, yeah. Hockey is very important. Hockey. This this stuff is so important for uh, people who have a job. Yeah. Like a normal job, they, they might yeah. want to watch some TV yes. uh, instead of working, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's very important. And this one is cool because it works with every device over yeah. Wi Fi. Yeah. yeah, especially for Apple. Because Apple don't have yeah. typical USB for it. Yeah. And this works for every. So these work. Um, this one only works with the micro USB. Micro USB. That this. Your phone will need to have the OTG function. OTG. If you have OTG, is fine. Yeah. And uh, you also need Android 4.1. Yeah. But if you don't, if you have iOS, or if you have not Android 4.1, or if you have. Uh, if you don't have USB host, yeah. which I don't have on my uh, Chinese uh, $50 phone, you use this one. Yes. How much is the one. retail price for this? You don't know? It's a good price, I guess. Yeah. Which one is more popular, this or this? They both popular. More people are asking this type in this fair. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is this this block, this stuff. Yep. And uh, your stuff we have. Here. What's going on here? Uh, this is all the different. Uh, what is this? That's the just a media. That's a dual core media player. Mm. Dual core media player. They're just different size. Dual core nano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Linux and ARM. Yeah. Oh, Link. Yeah. UHD. <laughs> and uh, the core stick. Quad okay. core. Quad core stick. What's gonna happen uh, in the future? Uh, 805, right? Yep. And Logic Group has a new chipset. It's the S805. It should be a low-cost chipset, and then the best thing is it supports H.265 hardware decoding. So it's up to 1.0p decoding for the playback, which the quad right now don't have. So uh, uh, H.265 is thinking, better for VOD, uh, yeah, better bandwidth? We are thinking that it might be a substitute for the old dual core, because that one is uh, kind of old. And then, so we did the popular up new quad core chipset, a low cost quad core chipset. Very low cost. Yeah. But ARM Cortex A5, right? A5, it's five, yeah, it's A5. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so low cost, but it's a quad core and with a really good media. Yeah. It will be good for the, for the if you just do a streaming box, like a setup box or yeah. something, that would be a good chipset for those areas. And what's, what's up otherwise? Uh, what's next uh, secret product, product project from the Virginia Tech? What's going to happen? Nah. What can you say? I can't say much. <laughs> it's we'll secret. We'll check back later. So yeah. you're working on a bunch of things? Yeah. We actually have a lots of projects running on in the back. <laughs> a lot of projects and yeah, all the I, engineers? Yeah. We have How many engineers? We actually have around 100 engineers and around 60 of them is a software development. 160 is software? Yeah. yeah. Because Andrew, we focus not, on... Not everybody on Android. Not everybody, and then and actually because we have different, we can with some people is do the system, some do drivers, some do the application, yeah, yeah, and some do something else. <laughs> so is it secret or can you say how many boxes shipping? How many boxes shipping? It's big. It's really big. Two million. Yeah. Two million per year. Two million. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay. So thanks for watching. Thank you.